What's up guys? Today I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create a blogger website. Now, if you want to create a blogger website, open your browser, make sure it's enabled with internet connection. Then, log on to www.blogger.com. I have it on my screen, but for the purpose of the practical, let me type the website address again. www.blogger.com. You can see it. Then, once you open blogger.com, this is where it will take you to. Then click on sign in. Make sure you have your Gmail account in place because without Gmail accounts, you cannot create a blogger website. Then I'm going to use one of my Gmail accounts here. So I'm signing in. It's loading. So now once you are signing in the next thing is so it will take you down to this place uh in some scenario it will not take you to this place but once it brings you down here what do you need to do the next thing is click on new blog at this on the top left corner of your browser then click on new blog so in some scenario once you click on sign in or create your blog this is where it will take you to after you have signed in your gmail account but my own case is different so your own case may bring you here and in some other scenario it may bring you down to where it actually brought me to right now so now uh, the next thing is you give your blog a title then blog address then you select a team among all these team now before you give your blog a title you need to understand what title is that what that title is all about now what is title all about let's look at a website on the internet let me search for premature ejaculation cure Okay, it's actually showing some websites here. Let me look for. Okay, let me click on this. I just want to show you what that title is all about before I'm going to go back to that blogger website. It's loading. Now, I want us to notice something here. You can see ED, best health zone. If you put anything here, this is what is going to appear on your browser tab. That is, if anybody visits your blog or your website, rather, this particular title, this is the title of this particular website. That's why it's showing here, easy best. So now, whatever you want to, what, are, what any kind of website you want to create is going to determine the title you are going to give your website now let's assume i want to create a website for libido libido website now i can just give it action man action man okay i can just give it action man but action man is actually uh somehow i should i don't know is somehow not related to what i want to do but i can just give it so now i'm going to give this particular blog a title i want to create a website for libido so i can just give it man of the house or i can give it men corner okay now i'm giving it men corner so now the next thing is address that address is your website url so here 
I'm going to put in some website URL to see if they are available. Now, let me put main corner. By the time you put any web address, automatically Blogger is going to generate .blogspot.com behind this because you are creating a free website. So the input they, will, they are going to input their own domain name as well as subdomain to it. So now in that case, if I should click on main corner dot let's see if it's available. If it is available, it's going to mark it blue here. Yeah? So it means this particular website is not available. Let me give it. Let me say active main corner. Oh, active main corner is available. So let me just change the title to active main corner. Okay. So now after make sure you it approve your web address before you move on and make sure that web address you want to use is what you can easily remember so that by the time you want to use the website for adverts you won't start looking for it here and there once you've created a blogger website address and it has been accepted the website url has been accepted what you just need to do is write it somewhere so that whenever you want to use it for adverts you won't forget it so now the next thing is pick a team here yeah. So I'm just going to pick any of these things, but I would prefer to leave it at the default, which is Contempo. So after that, I'm going to click on Create Blog. Once I click on Create Blog, it will show creating a blog. Active Main Corner was successfully created. Was created successfully. So now after that, this is where it will take me to. Now the next thing here is for you to create a post. That post is the content on your website. So when I say create a post, that is the content on your website. So now at this junction, what you just need to do is click on create new posts on this particular place or you click on create new post here. Any of the two is okay. So now I'm going to click on create new posts. So now once I click on create new posts, it's going to open a kind of interface that will look exactly like Microsoft Office Word. But it will not have all the old features of Microsoft Office, what you can see. So from here, I can start typing the information I want to put on my website. But one thing I need to I need you to understand is in our digital marketing academy, we have already done all the old activities. All the old activities have already been done by the leaders of the academy. What you just need to do is just come in once you are asked to create a website. Look for one of the websites in the academy, copy and paste, change the number, change some other little information, then you are good to go. So that's what that is what one of the things that make our digital marketing academy one of the best. So uh yeah, let me scroll down and see this particular website. Okay, this is the landing page for this website. So let me click here to see the solution. So this is what landing page looks like. You can create something that is more gorgeous than this. Okay. Let me check. Maybe it's our forever living product that is on this website. Okay. Matemaka. Jinshie. Jinko Plus. Okay. This particular website comprises of Matemaka, Jinshie, and Jinko Plus. Okay. That's very good. So now from this place here, what I I'm going to start doing is and start copying all this information, all this content on this website. So now this particular one is an image. Save this image first as number one thing on your list. Let me let me save it where I can easily get it. Let me save it on desktop. Then the next thing is. I'm going to copy this right up up to this particular place where I can see picture. Make sure you don't copy all the old tests at the same time. It's going to give you edit on your website editor. So now, once you want to start copy, copy from where you can see from the beginning of the test to where you can see image. Don't alight it with the image. So I'm going to stop here. So let me copy it, copy. 
you can use Ctrl C to copy as well. Let me paste it here. So now you will be the one to format it yourself the way it appears on this particular website. But uh, you can actually do the copying once, or you can do the formatting as you are copying. But let me start with the formatting. Uh, okay, sexual enhancement therapy. Uh, this particular sexual enhancement therapy is was centralized on that particular website. So I'm going to centralize it. That is places at at the center. Now this is alignment. So once you click on this, on this you will see options. So let me put it at the center. So now I want to make the test to be very big. I'm going to come down to this particular font and font size. Okay, this is font size. So I can make it large. I can make it extra large. That is largest. Then I can now change the color to any color of my choice. You can see where color is. Click on this particular place. You can see A. Then change it to red. Okay, it has been changed to red. Then the next thing, how I finally corrected my premature ejaculation. Uh, all these are made blue. They are made blue. So let me centralize it. It doesn't matter you use the format on the website. I'm just using this to show you how you can actually do it yourself as well. So let me use blue. And let me make the, the test large then. Plus a unique way to correct enlarged post rates naturally. So I'm centralizing this. Let me make it large as well. So now the next thing now is to add this particular image from the top first. Let me quickly add that. Now I want this particular image to be at the top here. So, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this particular image icon beside link. The moment you click on it, this is where it's going to take you to. It will give you option to upload the image you want to use. So, I'm going to click on choose file. So, it will take me to my computer directory. So, under here, I'm going to look for desktop. Okay, this is desktop. So this is the image I've seen on. So I'm going to double click on it or once you click on it, click on open. So it's going to load before you'll be able to see it. Okay, it's now fully loaded. So once I have it here, I'm going to add selected image. Now, this particular image, the moment I added it, look at how small it is. You can make it large so that it will cover the whole page. So now, I'm going to click on the image then you can see option to increase or reduce the size of the image large extra large or original size so let me use extra large then let me move this one down upward rather so now the next thing is i want to add this next image So I'm going to save this image as well. Let me save it. Product other special. Where I can be able to get that easily. So now I'm going to add this image as, as well. So I'm going to add it from here. Shoes file. This is the image. So once it is fully loaded, I'm going to add selected. So let me make it large or extra large as well, but let me make it large. I prefer it to be large. Then the next thing is put your arrow beside the image, then press enter to go to the next paragraph. So now the next thing is I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to copy this, copy it up to where you can see text, then stop it. Where you can see image rather, then stop it, copy the text, paste it, then format the text the way it's supposed to be. 
after formatting it the way it's supposed to be save the image next to it then insert it the way it is actually inserted here so now i'm trying to look for any new thing here okay let me quickly add this other image for you to see again let me save this image you are going to right click on your mouse then click on save image as so i'm going to insert this image as well don't forget you click on this icon beside link then let me choose file then make sure you save the image with what you can remember it the reason i'm using i'm not saving it with any name is because i don't have multiple images on my desktop so that's the reason why once you select the image click on open so once you click on open after the image has been fully loaded select it then add selected dismiss this this is normal error message scroll down to where the image is you can make it large you can make it medium you can make it extra large or its original size with which it came in so now at this junction i'm going to stop copying image and tests so let me look for any other new thing that may actually want to give you some tough time okay i think i need to explain this look at this particular part become a man every woman wants you can see the the test is red while the background color is yellow how do you do that on your blogger editor as well let us assume i want to use this for example let me make this one let me highlight this and make the background color yellow so once you have highlighted it beside this particular test color you can see this particular test background color then choose the test background i'm going to make it yellow you can see it now appearing as yellow so now this is how easy it is to create to copy and paste and change what needed to be changed all these are image not tests so you save it as well after doing that let me scroll down and see what you may actually want to add from your angle that may actually give you okay that means everything here is so cool everything here is so cool so you don't have anything to worry yourself about what you just need to do is copy and paste and format it the way you to your tastes so after you are done copying so next thing is give your post a title you can say okay you can leave the title and you can try to give it title active men corner okay so after giving it a title the next thing is you are going to click on publish as you are doing anything on this particular editor it's going to be saved automatically that is how it has been customized it will save automatically so now after you are done with everything click on publish but before you click on publish publish you can decide to look at how to view the way your website looks like you can click on preview so preview is going to show you what your website is going to look like on a normal level so i believe this is uh not bad this is okay so it's just for you to it's just left for you to change some other things yourself to customize it to a very uh, attractive state okay so i believe that is what is left for you to do so now after you are done you've seen the way it looks like i think this particular black is not showing very well so let me change the color to original black so let me publish it 
once you click on publish it's going to take you away from this particular editor then this is what is going to show you next now i've published it now i can start to view the website you can edit you can also delete okay uh you can edit you can view you can delete so now i'm going to view it yeah let me close all this okay i'm viewing it it's loading wow this is it okay so now it's now fully loaded so this is how simple it is for you to create a blogger website now uh i want you to notice some things here you can see this is showing date of creation the day i created this and it's also showing post comments which may actually not be necessary but before we can remove all this i want you to understand something if somebody should if you should give somebody your website address to go to your website and view it this is what it will look like you see active main corner.blogspot.com this is what is going to show but for you to now make your website look very well just like this particular website which we copied from earlier i've closed that it has a landing page and for you to actually beat the robot that is going to check your advert be it google be it facebook or any other platform you want to advertise with you have to create a landing page it's not advisable for you to actually use your main website for advert you put your landing page in for advert then the next thing now is we are going to create a landing page now if you want to create a landing page how do you go about landing page let me open this particular website again and make sure you copy from website that has add on it forever website that has forever products with it in it and has add on it this is advert it means this person is paying google to show their website at the top by so doing you will be able to you may also be able to rank higher on when whenever you place adverts on google so uh on google or facebook all these ones that are showing here they are free websites that are that has uh, that has been ranked by google through search engine optimization organic traffic it is natural traffic but this particular one is what we call paid market or search engine marketing that is you've paid these people have paid google some amount of money to show their website so now let's go to the website and see what happens there you can see this is a landing page you can see latest discovery how to overcome quick ejaculation how to overcome it's supposed to be overcome how to overcome quick ejaculation and erectile dysfunction naturally and build a strong us in the home in the room rather special attention join over thousands nigerians nigerian men this is error but we are going to do the correction to step to get steps for improving and discovering yourself so now uh you can decide to copy from that as your blogger as your landing page rather so now for for you to create a landing page what you need to do is come down to this particular you can see after posts we are now going to here to pages that is, you want to create a landing page after you are done creating your blogger website content your website content the next thing is create a landing page a gorgeous landing page let me search for another website and see their landing page let me use this let me check this no this is not a landing page okay let's look for another one this is a direct website this is not advisable for you to do don't go ahead and create adverts putting your direct website no don't try that now 
let me quickly search for you can use this particular landing page as well wellness online okay let me just ask when else online oh okay let's copy from this particular landing page let's copy from this landing page so now once you click on pages it will take you to this particular place you see it's similar to the one we use as posts so now you are going to click on create a new page it's still the same interface but they are different things entirely this is a page right the first one we created is the contents of your website so now let me copy from this website latest discovery let me copy from here so paste it let me centralize it let us discovery discover how to overcome overcome quick ejaculation and premature quick ejaculation and erectile dysfunction naturally and become us okay you can decide to just ginger this particular thing up uh you can decide to add an image maybe a doctor image let me quickly type for a black male doctor So click on images, then you will see a lot of pictures here, black male doctors. Let me look for, I think I like this. Make sure you select something gorgeous. Let me save this. This doesn't look like a black, but it's a black American. So let me save that on my desktop as well. Let me call him Doctor. So I've saved that image. So now I want to add that image to this particular landing page. I'm going to click on image, then scroll up, choose file. doctor 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 this is doctor i'm going to select the image then click on open after that i'm going to add select it then add selected you can see latest discovery let me make that particular latest discovery very large okay very well how to discover how to overcome discover how to overcome quick ejaculation of mature uh, and erectile dysfunction then let me copy this as well let me copy it, Ctrl C. Let me paste it. Ctrl V. Uh, you can see that test is not showing, is because the person made it white. Okay, so I'm going to highlight it, then make it something else. So it will start showing. Join. Join over thousand Nigerians, okay? Join thousands of Nigeria of join thousands of Nigeria men or Nigerians to get step for improving and discovering yourself in the other room. 
in the other room okay let me centralize it let me make that test large okay then let me save that button click here to learn more let me save it but this is not showing like an image so it's not a big deal if it's not showing like an image it is actually test but they make the background color so uh you can decide to use the test you can decide to use image so let me just use image and show you more way you can make your own to stand out your website to stand out so let me just click click here just type click here you'll be able to see click here button let me use that okay you can see this click here to learn more if it's available let's check it's loading okay so you can see click here learn more okay click here to learn more i love this okay so let me use this particular learn more let me save this so let me save it learn more so i'm going to go to that editor then i'm going to insert that image shoes file let me type it learn more okay this is it i'm going to open it oh it's not showing let me go ahead and save another thing click here let me save this save image as save image as so i'm going to use that learn more so i'm going to use that learn more so i'm saving it so i'm going to go back and we upload learn more so you can see uh that one is not showing so this one should show so i'm uploading this one so this one is showing so if you're having trouble with this don't stress yourself much just save another one then use the one that is showing so i'm going to select it so i'm going to add it so uh click here to learn more now uh at this junction you need to understand something this lemon cannot just work without anything added to it so which means we are going to add your website url that is the content you created we are going to add the url but before we do that we are going to publish this first publish it publish it once it is published oh why is the service doing this okay it's now published now uh what you need to do is go back to your post you know you want to copy the website itself you want to copy the website content to your landing page you have to link it together so i'm going to click on post then click on view under post make sure you click on post then click on view so that it will show the the url of this content itself so i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy it 
with ctrl c or you right click on it then i've copied it so now after you have copied go back to pages then click on edit under pages don't forget click on edit once you click on edit this particular learn more button click on it okay then add property okay click on it then add caption which is this website you are with okay click on the button then click on link click on the button again click on link the first time i click on the button i click on link nothing happened then i click outside the button then i click on the button again then i clicked on link so the moment you click on link then paste the website url which you copied paste it in it you can give it test to display you can leave it you can see click here to learn more so learn more so once you do that once you've done that click on ok don't check anything here make sure it's not under email address it's under web address so once you've done that click on ok the moment you click on ok update now it's now showing update because we are editing now we are not just creating it the first time you are creating it's going to show publish when else you are editing it's going to show update so i'm going to click on updates so once i click on updates i'm going to view it and see you can see wow so discover how to overcome quick ejaculation and blah 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 then click here to learn more once i click it it's going to take your audience to your main website you see we've linked the main website to the landing page so now that is the first thing we did is we created a blog we choose title then we choose blog address that is the website address then the next thing is we created a post under post after we are done with post we created a landing page that is under pages now after you are done with that what i need you to pay attention to here is that you will notice this particular stuff here is showing 23 which is the date of today that is the date of the day you created the website and the post so you don't need that and another thing is if somebody should visit your blog view blog if you should view blog this is what is going to show to them instead of the landing page but how do we do that we are going to do it one after the other so the first thing we need to address here is to remove these dates and other things that may be showing here to remove them like the comments the dates and other things so now after you are done with post you are done with landing page the next thing is you go to layouts now under layout you are going to change the settings a lot of things under layout now the first thing under layout that you are going to change is click on this pencil icon under search this blog click on it uncheck this box uncheck it then click on save after that scroll down come to header uncheck this button then click on save next thing click on about me uncheck it then click on save then you can see this one has already been unchecked already so you can remove remove all this remove all this these ones are removable so once you click on the pencil icon just click on uncheck the visibility or you remove it then you save any of the two is okay so i'm going to just make it invisible then i will save it i will make this invisible then save then i will now scroll down to see other parts featured posts this is what we call featured posts you can see the 
main post then you'll be able to see the uh you'll be able to see the landing page as well if i should go to you can see look at the main post you will see the landing page if you view this at the bottom so which is not advisable so the next thing is uncheck the featured posts uncheck everything you can see here uncheck it then save so now now this is blog post itself under this blog post you are not going to you won't even see any option to make it invisible because without the blog post the website is actually useless so what you just need to do is uncheck all this button here uncheck everything everything here uncheck it go down uncheck location uncheck everything so once you have unchecked everything save then you can see on that blog post you can't you can't make it invisible then you can go ahead and make popular posts invisible then save now once you do this save here again now go back to this particular website then refresh it wow the date is no longer showing the comment is no longer showing so which means we are done with the third step the first step is post the second step is page while the third step is layout now the last thing is we want to make this particular landing page to be what visitors is going to see before they can get to the main website how do you do this it's very simple what you need to understand between the landing page and the main blog posts and the main website is that landing page is where you should is the link you are going to use for adverts now uh if i should go to this blogger control panel if i click on view blog you see what is appearing and you want this to show so now what do you need to do to make this landing page the main page the website is going to take even the robot that is going to check your advert and your visitors too what you just need to do is go to your control panel then under it go to settings you can see i'm under settings sorry about this i'm under settings then go to search preference under settings click on search preference under settings we have basics we have posts we have email we have language and we have search preference click on subs search preference then under search preference you can see meta tags don't touch anything here you can see error and redirections now under error and redirections click on custom redirect custom redirect then click on edit bring your cursor down to custom redirect then click on edit once you click on edit this is what is going to show this first place is going to show you from just put a forward slash i said put a forward slash alone then go ahead and copy the landing page link this is the landing page copy it audio link control c then paste it under this two you see to active men this blah 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 paste it now once you have pasted it what you need to do here is from this aspect of dot com downward backward rather delete it you can see what i did i remove active men corner dot blogspot dot com i i leave it from this forward slash to the end part i remove the active men stuff from it then click check this button to make it permanent page that it will take visitors to i'm going to check this button once i check it i'm i'm making it permanent so the next thing is click on save after clicking on save click on save changes make sure you click on save or else you've done nothing so i'm clicking screen on save changes so you can see settings change successfully so now after that let's close all this let's close all this then leave this alone now let's view our blog 
okay you can see this is it so it's now showing the uh the landing page as the main as the main page of the website uh in case you encounter any error while doing this all you just need to do is make sure your landing page link is correct how to do go about it again let me show you once again go to pages after you have created the pages the page the landing page then click on view view once you click on view this is the url just copy it ctrl c then go to settings under settings scroll down go to search preference under search preference let us zoom we are we just want to start it let me just even delete it let me delete it let me save it i've deleted it. let me delete it delete i've saved it so now under search preference click on custom redirects you can see edit then put forward slash from this onto this from then go to two you can see the next box here then paste the landing page url you can see paste it copy it then paste it here after pasting it remove anything from dot com backward remove it then leave slash p slash blog dot page and other things then after that click check on this boss then click on save after clicking on save save it again save changes again then after that view your blog and let's see you can see so this is how easy it is so if any visitor should type your website address this is what it this is where it's going to take them to if i should click here it's going to take us to the main website so now let's assume uh i am a customer and i want to search for your for your website if i should just go on and type active men corner dot blog dot com okay it's loading it's loading service is actually causing some error you can see so this is how easy it is and how fast it is for you to create a website so uh in case you have any question you can actually direct any question to me you can reach me via 081 uh that's my whatsapp line you can reach me on whatsapp anytime so uh i wish you best of luck so this is how easy it is i remember my humble self Cameroonian alone thank you very much have a wonderful day